The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor introduced the world to a new level of agility, speed, stealth, and situational awareness. This certified it as the world's first fifth-generation fighter and combined with its advanced avionics, long-range air-to-air and air-to-ground weapons, ability to sustain supersonic flights, the US was put miles ahead of the game. Sadly, despite all these features, the F-22 has to go. Apparently, the Air Force plans to go from seven fighter fleets to four and they seem to have valid reasons for that. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at why the Air Force would rather have four fighter models in their fleet. We'll also discuss the replaced fighters, why they had to be replaced, and what they were replaced with. So without further ado, sit back and prepare for takeoff. News about F-22 retirement and future fleet As we draw nearer to 6th generation fighters, the Air Force is already making plans to part with their earliest 5th generation stealth fighter, the F-22 Raptor. This decision is largely based on tactics and cutting costs. Chief Charles Brown made this clear in an interview, and according to him, seven fleets are active as of today and this will be streamlined to four. These four would include the F-35, F-16, F-15EX, and the next generation air dominance, NGAD. Of the 187 F-22 fighters delivered to the Air Force by Lockheed Martin, 186 are still in service. Although they were a formidable fleet, they never really witnessed much action. In fact, the first time they witnessed combat was in Syria in 2014 two years after the last was delivered to the Air Force. Now with modern wars possibly evolving to involve space, fighter jets have to be as effective as can be to attack, say, satellites with state-of-the-art weapons such as lasers. And rather than focusing on multiple different models to fit with these capabilities, it makes sense to select the top performance, cost-effective fighters, and then upgrade them to required standards. Future Fighters in Use F-35, F-16, F-15EX, and NGAD. So from a strategic point, it's easy to understand why the Air Force believes four fleets of fighters would handle virtually all missions effectively, because they can. Of the four chosen, each fighter has features that complement the next, and when combined, the sky could be the starting point for the Air Force. Almost literally, the F-35 leads the pack being the undisputed most powerful 5th generation stealth fighter in the world. The F-16 is a powerful 4th generation jet with enough versatility and brute to handle whatever situation. Boeing's representative in the refined Air Force would be the F-15EX, another impressive 4th generation fighter that continues to stand the test of time. And finally, the NGAD. Once fully developed, it may catapult to take the lead from the F-35, but until then, this promising 6th generation fighter would have to take a back seat in our list. Why will the F-22 be replaced? So surely, even if the F-22 isn't equipped with the most recent tech, it can be upgraded, right? And as we saw earlier, even 4th generation fighters make the cut. So why exactly is this revolutionary fighter being retired and replaced? Well, there are a number of reasons. Now, although the F-22 is a 5th generation fighter with 5th gen tech, it is, well, how do you say, outdated. Its stealth tech isn't as effective as that found on the F-35, for instance, and can be relatively easily caught on the most advanced radars today. In terms of attacking weapons, however, the F-22s aren't found wanting, but so is also the case with the best fourth-generation fighters. So the Air Force would rather buy a more cost-effective fourth-gen fighter, like the F-16, than buy a more expensive fifth-gen F-22 that basically would function as a fourth-gen in modern battles. Because modern battles would require new frontiers, new weapons, top maneuverability, new stealth tech, and other advanced avionics that the Raptor either doesn't have or would be expensive to upgrade. There have also been talks about adding the huge A-10 Warthog fighter to provide close air support to Marines on land. The Air Force, however, clarifies that the A-10 would surely be retired by the 2030s. 
This is understandable, as more resources would have to be targeted towards developing the 6th generation fighters. Ok, back to the F-22. The biggest blow came in 2009 when the Senate voted to halt the production of the Raptor. President Barack Obama was in support of this halt as all signs seemed to show the Raptor was far too costly to build, buy, and maintain. In fact, the production cost of a single F-22 Raptor sits at $150 million and $334 million in lifetime costs per unit. For context, the Air Force's current gem, the F-35, has a flyaway cost of $80 million, 47% less than the F-22. And on average, for every hour that the F-22 spends in the air, $65,000 in fuel is vaporized. And all of these do not sit well with anyone. Why can't the US build more F-22s? So, the cost of the F-22 are some of the major reasons the US won't build more. Originally, the US planned to buy 750 of these air-dominating machines until production was prematurely halted at 187. Officially, the NGAD would be the replacement for the F-22 which comes as a surprise to some, because the NGAD hasn't even been unveiled yet. Anyways, when it finally is, we'll get a full picture of what the Air Force's reshaping plans are. And you'll be the first to find out because we'll release a detailed video about it. But then again, YouTube will only alert you of the video if you're subscribed to this channel, so kindly subscribe! Popular Aircraft That Have Been Replaced By The US Air Force Although it may come as a shock to many that the USAF plans to replace their high-performance deadly F-22 Raptors, this isn't a new thing. Some celebrity fighter jets back in the day have had to retire at some point in time. Let's now take a look at three of these retired fighter jets. 1. F-14 Tomcat with F-A-18F Super Hornet, now EA-18 Growler. The F-14 Tomcat was a supersonic multi-role fighter manufactured by the now-defunct Grumman Aerospace Corporation. It was introduced on September 22, 1974, and served the United States for 32 years before being retired on September 22, 2006. It was replaced by the Boeing FA-18E and FA-18F Super Hornet, which was then updated to the EA-18G Growler. This update came with the world's most advanced airborne electronic attack platform and therefore easy-peasy tactical jamming of signals. 2. F-15C with F-15EX The F-15C is an air superiority fighter developed by McDonnell Douglas, which is now part of Boeing. The F-15C is one of the most successful fighters ever with a victory-to-loss ratio of 100 to 0. And that's almost as impressive as fighters get, really. This fighter is arguably the icebreaker for the new class of fighters that grace our skies today. It was introduced in 1976 and served the US Air Force until it was replaced by its cousin, the F-15EX, which has stronger airframes, advanced processors, flight control, and radar systems. 3. F-16 with F-35 in 7 to 8 years the F-16 is a multi-role air superiority fighter that was introduced on the 17th of August 1978. It was manufactured by General Dynamics, a company that later became a part of Lockheed Martin in 1995. The F-16 is a model fourth generation fighter with the most impressive features. However, the US Air Force isn't acquiring new F-16s and is set to replace their current acquisitions fleet with the fifth generation F-35. The F-35 has all the positive features of the F-16 plus more, including the most advanced stealth tech and vectoring thrusts in the world. Sum up a future fleet. So yes, fighter jets do get outdated despite being some of the most expensive compact man-made items in existence. We now know the US Air Force has a thought-out structuring plan for decades to come. To recap, they have the highly stealthy F-35, the brutal F-16, the brutal F-15EX, because two brutal fighters are always better than one, and then the coming soon 6th Gen NGAD. As said earlier, the A-10 might still be in the picture for a few more years to assist with close air support, but only for a few more years. With the most expensive air force in the world, the US has been, not necessarily cutting down costs, but being more cost effective. This is understandable and we can only hope that projections are as accurate as they need to be. 
With every new generation of fighters introduced to the world, a previous generation would have to make way. It just so happens that the F-22 would likely be the first fight-gen fighter to retire in the US. Well, it was the first to be introduced anyways, so… The F-22 Raptor loses no credits though, it has played its part. And now, it's your turn to play yours. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video if you benefited from it. This helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps get the video out to more people. This brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.